Hi everybody, today I wanted to take a look at the factory pattern. The factory pattern is often misunderstood, sometimes it's uh, abused or it's, it's implemented incorrectly and so I wanted to kind of add a little bit of cl clarification, uh, kind of give you my understanding of what the factory pattern is supposed to be. So in our example code here we've got a uh, very simple console application and it is asking for a number of passengers and then is trying to determine which uh, instance of this iVehicle impl uh, implementation it should create and then it calls the drive method on that. And so uh, if it's less than or equal to 5 it calls sedan, less than or equal to 7 calls minivan, if it's less than or equal to 50 then it calls a bus and in the future maybe a new feature would be airplane or boat or something like that, right? We can run this real quick and we can see how it works. So if I put in, I have six passengers, it's going to say we're driving in a minivan, right? So that's what the drive method does right now. All it does is output something to the console. This is okay. Uh, it's got a couple different problems. There's a code, couple code smells here that uh, if you saw something like this, you'd probably want to fix it. One way to kind of address it is with the factory pattern. So the factory pattern, let's create a new class and we'll call this a vehicle factory. I'm going to give it a method called, uh, it's going to return an I vehicle, and then we're going to say, uh, let's call it uh, just create for now, and we'll call it int uh, number of passengers. Okay. All right, so this is going to take our number of passengers and it's going to return the proper class for us, right? So a really simple implementation would be if I go in here and I say, let's rip this out of here and pull it over here. And we're going to take our number of passengers from our argument instead. And let's see, actually, we're going to need this in the other. Let's pull that back out over here. And we're going to get rid of this if statement. And there. Okay. And then instead of passenger count, we're going to call it, actually, just to make it simple, we'll call it passenger count just to match the other. Okay. And then we're going to call this I vehicle, uh, vehicle. And then we'll come down here. And then uh, up here, we're going to grab our number of passengers. Uh, we'll keep this if statement here, I guess. So if the uh, user did enter an integer, uh, we're going to grab our vehicle, but we're going to grab it from our factory, right? So we need to create an instance of our factory. So factory equals new vehicle factory, like that. And then here we're just going to say factory create and then we're going to pass in our passenger count, right? Oop. Wrong key combination. And then we're going to say vehicle drive up here. Okay, do a little cleanup and we're done. So the, basically that's a factory, right? So. Um, we've basically moved the instantiation into the factory and the factory is in charge of deciding which class to instantiate and return back to you. Okay. And when, if we run this, we can see, you know, if I say I have, uh, 20 passengers, we're driving in a bus. Okay. Works exactly the same as it did before. We've just taken that logic and we've moved it out of our main program. We've thrown it into its own factory and that factory can be reused throughout the application. Every time we need a vehicle, we can go ask the factory, hey, what vehicle should I be using? Okay. So uh, that doesn't solve all the code smells though, right? If we go look at our vehicle factory, now we've kind of introduced an open close principle issue here. And the open close principle basically says that a uh, class should be open for extension, but closed for uh, modification. And so if you think about, okay, let's uh, add a new vehicle type. So we're going to say, um, let's do a, uh, what's bigger than a bus? So let's call it a boat, right? So we're going to call it a boat. And the boat is going to implement our iVehicle class. 
and its max passenger count is, this is a really big boat, so it's going to be uh, 150, right? And uh, this is going to be a boat, and this is going to be a console right line uh, driving in a boat. Kind of silly, but it is what it is. Okay, so now to implement that, uh, we're not going to just have to create that boat class. We're also going to have to come back into our factory. We're going to have to change our factory. So we're going to have to say else if passenger count is less than or equal to, what did we say? Uh, boat is 150. 150. Then vehicle is a new boat. Okay? And that will work. However, we've modified this class, right? If it wasn't closed uh, for modification because we had to come back and modify it to make it work again. So uh, I have another video about this, but the open close principle with uh, .NET at least is kind of fun to solve with a, just a little bit of reflection. And so that reflection is going to look like this, okay? So we're going to go and we're gonna grab all of the types in this assembly that in, uh, implement iVehicle, and then we're going to go through them and ask them, because uh, I just happened to prepare a little bit ahead and have a max passengers property on each one of them. Uh, we're gonna ask them what their max passengers is and kind of walk through them in order to see which one we should be using. Okay, so let's change our factory to use a little bit of reflection so that we can uh, get rid of our open close principle issue here. And then uh, we'll be done with the factory pattern for the day. Okay, to fix that open close principle issue, the uh, way we're going to do that is we're going to grab the type uh, that we'll be looking for. And it can actually be any type in the assembly, but I like to use the type we're looking for. So uh, we'll call this the vehicle type. And we're going to say type of I vehicle. Okay. And then we're going to go and we're going to say vehicles equals uh, the vehicle type, uh, vehicle type and grab the assembly and then get all the exported types. Uh, and then we're gonna need to filter them a little bit. So we're gonna say where X is assignable from, um, actually no, it's gonna be reverse. It's gonna be where we can assign vehicle type is assignable from uh, the type that's in the assembly. And then we're going to say it's not uh, an abstract and it's not an interface, right? And that will get us all of the types that uh, implement this interface, but they are not the interface themselves. And then we're going to uh, create an instance of each one of them. And that is done with, like I said, a little bit of reflection here. So we're going to say return activator uh, create instance x and we're going to cast each one of those back to the i vehicle and then what i'd like to do is i'd like to sort them by the uh, max passenger so we're going to say order by max passengers and let's just return them in a list here to list okay now what we can do is we can say uh, vehicle in vehicles we can walk through them and we can say uh, if passenger count is less than or equal to vehicle max passengers then return the vehicle. Okay. And then otherwise we're just probably just going to end up having to return null uh, if we don't find it in there. So we'll say return null here. Okay. We have uh, fixed that open close problem and let's go ahead and test it just to make sure Oop, we've got an issue there. Uh, we're missing a semicolon somewhere right there inside of our link statement. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look, make sure that it is fixed. Okay, so if we had 20 passengers, we're driving on a bus, good. And let's go big and we'll say we have uh, 105, 105 passengers we're driving on a boat, there we go. Okay, so that's a simple way you can fix the open close uh, issue. It's also a good demonstration of the factory pattern. So if you're ever implementing the factory pattern, just remember moving that logic into its own class is certainly a factory. However, I would go one step further, try and refactor it and make it a little more flexible so that in the future, when you add a new type to your uh, project, you are not left with having to go back and modify your factory. Okay, thanks for watching.